In a surprising development that has sparked widespread discussion within the scientific community, renowned physicist Dr. Michio Kaku has shared his thoughts on a discovery that may fundamentally alter our understanding of the universe. Kaku, celebrated for his deep knowledge in both classical physics and the intricate realm of quantum theory, has long been receptive to groundbreaking ideas especially those that question established paradigms. Recently, Dr. Kaku turned his attention to the remarkable findings of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, which has detected six enormous galaxies that appear to date back to the very early stages of the universe, approximately 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies are not only vast in size, some even surpassing our own Milky Way, but also unusually mature for such an early epoch. According to prevailing astrophysical theories, the early universe was expected to be chaotic and largely unstructured for hundreds of millions of years. Galaxies were thought to have formed gradually from small clusters of stars that merged, over time, into larger formations, However, the galaxies identified by JWST defy this understanding. They are not only massive, but also strikingly well-developed, brimming with stars at a rate scientists did not expect for such a young cosmic era. For Kaku, who has spent decades communicating the frontiers of science to both experts and the general public, this could mark a pivotal moment in cosmological theory. He suggests that these observations might offer a gateway to an entirely new perspective on how the universe evolved. While many astrophysicists remain committed to the conventional Big Bang model and its proposed timeline for galaxy formation, Kaku urges the scientific community to adopt a more daring mindset. He notes that these massive galaxies, referred to by some researchers as universe breakers, could imply one of two possibilities. Either galaxies formed far more quickly than previously believed, or the universe itself is older than current. Models suggest, of course, not all scientists are ready to embrace these conclusions. Some skeptics caution that the JWST's data may be subject to misinterpretation particularly concerning redshift measurements, which are used to estimate the distance and age of celestial objects by analyzing how their light has stretched as the universe expands. Even small errors in redshift calculations can lead to substantial misjudgments about the age and formation of galaxies. Yet Kaku warns against the dangers of adhering too rigidly to outdated models out of habit or comfort. He argues that theoretical physics thrives only when grounded in experimental evidence, and right now that evidence is pointing toward a radically new vision of the cosmos. What makes Kaku's position especially influential is not just his scientific stature, but his long-standing openness to questioning accepted ideas. Throughout his career, he has emphasized that while Newton's laws and Einstein's theories offer powerful insights, they are not the final word on the universe's workings. He has consistently advocated for the possibility that the most profound truths about space and time remain beyond our current grasp. In response to these recent findings, Kaku proposes that we may be on the verge of revising or even replacing long-held cosmological models. The implications are profound. If such massive galaxies existed so soon after the Big Bang, then either our understanding of galaxy formation is significantly flawed or there are entirely new elements missing from our cosmological narrative. It's possible that unknown forces or particles played a role in the early universe, speeding up the development of cosmic structures. Perhaps dark matter or dark energy behaved differently during that period. Some even speculate whether the foundational singularity model of the Big Bang needs rethinking. It's important to remember that the concept of a universe with a beginning, let alone one with a measurable age, was once seen as radical. In the early 20th century, many scientists believed the universe was static and eternal. 
That perspective began to shift when Edwin Hubble discovered that galaxies were receding from us at speeds proportional to their distance, leading to the idea of an expanding universe. This insight laid the foundation for modern cosmology and the Big Bang Theory. Additional evidence, such as the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation and patterns of redshifted light from distant galaxies, helped solidify that model over time. Now, the JWST's extraordinary capabilities are allowing scientists to look farther back in time than ever before, capturing light from some of the earliest stars and galaxies to illuminate the cosmos. But rather than reinforcing existing theories, the telescope is revealing anomalies, objects that are too large, too bright, and too structured to fit neatly into the traditional narrative. These aren't minor deviations. They could represent a significant paradigm shift in our understanding of how the universe developed. As Kaku often reminds us, scientific breakthroughs rarely come from staying within our comfort zones. They arise from questioning models that no longer align with what we observe. Central to this ongoing debate is the role of redshift a vital tool in astronomy that describes how light stretches as galaxies move away from us. When an object recedes at high speed, its light shifts toward the red end of the spectrum. By measuring this shift, astronomers can estimate the object's distance and, consequently, the age of the light we observe. But these measurements must be extremely precise. Even small inaccuracies can lead to dramatically different conclusions about the size and age of ancient galaxies. With JWST's advanced infrared technology, scientists can detect faint signals from the universe's earliest structures. Yet, interpreting those signals remains a complex and high-stakes endeavor. Despite the uncertainties and debates, one thing is clear. We are entering a new era of cosmic discovery. The data from JWST, whether ultimately confirmed or revised, is compelling astronomers to reassess long-standing theories and approach the universe with fresh perspectives. Kaku encourages scientists and the public alike to remain open to these possibilities. Just as earlier generations had to abandon the geocentric model that placed Earth at the center of everything, we may now have to reconsider what we believe about the universe's origins and its evolution. For those who have always been fascinated by space, whether inspired by moon landings, Einstein's equations, or the iconic images from the Hubble telescope, this moment is both exhilarating and humbling. It reminds us that the universe is still full of mysteries we have yet to imagine and that with every new instrument we build to peer deeper into space, we uncover more about our place in the cosmos. As we stand at the brink of what could be a major scientific transformation, the discoveries emerging from the James Webb Space Telescope underscore just how dynamic and enigmatic the universe truly is. With visionary thinkers like Dr. Michio Kaku helping to interpret these revelations, we may soon witness a profound rewriting of our cosmic story, one that could inspire the next generation of scientists, dreamers, and explorers to look up and ask what still lies beyond.